everybody welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to be continuing our walkthrough of the free code camp curriculum uh, so far i have done videos on all of these html by building a cat photo app uh, css by building a cafe menu css colors html form and also this certification project survey form here i will leave a link to all of these videos in the description below check them out and in this video we are going to be specifically looking at learning css box model so this is exactly what we will be building in this video this painting right here is a painting by mark rothko so if you don't know mark rothko uh is a uh, an american painter and he does you know these kinds of paintings so that's what one of them is what we'll be building in our walkthrough in this video okay so let's get started all right step one so by now you should be familiar with the basic element an html page have if you don't know like i said check in the description below i have links to videos that go through basic html and css but in this video we are going to be learning the css box model specifically all right let's continue so set up your code with a doc type declaration an html element with the language set to english a head element and a body element so let's get started the way we set up our doc type declaration is like so we give it an attribute of html and then we should have our html element like so so we want to give this html element uh an attribute called lang which will set the language to en which stands for english okay so next up we want to add a head element and a body element as well okay so let's add a body element to like so all right good on to the next one all right so within the head element add a meta tag which sets the chassis to utf-8 okay so we want to add a meta tag meta elements are self-closing tags so there's no need for us to do this okay these are self-closing so we'll give it an attribute of char set and the value will be utf-8 okay and we also want to give it a title So the title element is responsible for this you see here for example the title of this page is this one you see here right so that's what we're going to do so what we add in the head element just sort of gives information about our page but it's not going to appear in our preview but then whatever we add in our body element is going to show up in our preview okay so let's take note of that all right now let's give our head our title the text rothko painting okay now within the body element as you can see here we want to add an image element which is also a self-closing element and want to give it a source attribute with the value of this one here okay all right so we see our image appear on the <clears throat> preview so let's go to the next step where we will talk about this image that we see right here so on to the next one okay so in the css box model every html element is treated as a box with four areas okay so it doesn't matter whether it's a text element whether it is uh, an image or anything else that is an HTML element, we treat it 
as sort of a box, right? So assuming there's our content here, so let's assume this blue thing here can be an image or a text, okay? So it will have a height and then it will have a width, okay? And then what you see here, this green thing here is what we call the pattern. But let's do the exercise and we'll talk about more about this in the next subsequent steps. Okay, so imagine you receive a box from your favorite online retailer. The content is the item in the box, okay? Or in our case, a header or a paragraph or an image element. So now let's change the SRC attributes in the image tag from what we have here to this new one here. Okay, so I'll copy this and then I'll cut this one out and paste it like so. All right. So like I was saying, this green uh, thing you see here, space you see here is what we call the pattern. Then outside of the pattern, we have what we call the border. Okay. Uh, if it's unclear to you, don't worry. Uh, as we look at some more examples, you get to understand it better. Okay, so step four. The content is surrounded by a space called pattern, as you can see. Similar to how bubble wrap separates an item from the box around it. Think of the border like the cardboard box your item was shipped in. Okay, so change the SRC attribute from this right here to this one. Okay, now we see we have margin here. Let's go to the next one where we'll talk more about it. Okay, so margin is the area outside of the box and can be used to control the space between other boxes of element. So assuming we have a header here, okay, and we have some sort of a paragraph text here. The margin is what will help us to separate or put some space between the header and the paragraph. So the margin helps us to separate an element from other elements on the page, right? Okay. Here, the bottom element has a larger top margin, as you can see, which pushes it further down the page. So because this is a, a high top margin, you see our content is pushed further down the page. Now that you understand the CSS box model, let's get started on the road school painting. So let's get started building our painting here. Let's create it with CSS. And then as we get some more practice, we'll be able to appreciate and understand some of these concepts even better. So our task in this step is to remove the IMG element. So I'm going to remove it like so. Okay. All right, next up, add a div element in the body. So first things first, let's add a div element. Okay, we have our opening div tag and our closing div tag. Set the class attribute to canvas. Okay, so the way we're going to do that, we're going to say class and the value of that class attribute to be sorry canvas like so all right so before you start styling the div you added which is uh you need to link your css to your html okay so for us to link our css to the html we will say link which is a self-closing tag and then we'll say ref sorry rel that will be style sheet and then we'll give it an href of in this case styles.css like so okay all right so now that we've linked our let me push this Okay, now that we've linked our styles.css, as you can see, we have this new file here, style.css, okay, which is 
what we see here so for example if i just do body and i do background color green as you can see our preview tends to green which shows that our css is properly linked to our html if i should remove this one then the background changes from white green back to green green back to white okay so let's continue all right so i'm going to clean this one up here and then the right thing you're supposed to do is even though your div has no text it's still treated as a box with content so write a css rule that uses the canvas class selector and set its weight to 500 pixels here's a css rule that sets the width of the class card to 300 pixels so you already have our div here which we've created and we want to set it with so we just select it like so with a dot that's how you select a class so canvas and we'll set the width to uh 500 pixels like so yeah so on to the next one now after we've set the width next thing we want to do is to set the height property so we we'll set the height to 600 pixels okay now we also want to set the background color and we won't set it to this color right here so i'll just copy it and uh, paste it okay so now as you can see this is the div that we created it has a width of 500 pixels and a height of 600 pixels with this brownish looking color okay so we'll end this one here and then continue in the next one so see you in the next one